All right, this morning, the Boys and Girls Clubs of Fort Wayne will recognize four boys for their character virtues in pursuit of becoming men. They'll also honor an impactful figure in the community, and it's all part of the 7th Annual Passport to Manhood Breakfast. News Channel 15's Michael Kuhn is live at the Miro Center ahead of the event. He joins us now with more on the breakfast and why it's important. Organizers and staffers here are getting ready for that Passport to Manhood, uh, manhood event here at the Miro Center. Joining us now is uh, Joe Jordan once again. He's the CEO and president of the Boys and Girls Club of Fort Wayne. Joe, you, we've been talking about this passport to manhood and uh, this event, but what comes before that is the program that you have at the Boys and Girls Club. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, the program is really designed to help young men through their journey to manhood, help them understand what it really d means to be a man. Unfortunately, a lot of our kids uh, don't have that father figure in their lives, so we want to make sure that these young men understand their responsibilities and the characteristics of being a productive, caring, responsible man. And so that's what we do. We provide that type of service twice a week, all year long, to our young men in our club. Now you're going to be honoring four of those young men today as part of this program. What are some of the things that you really look for uh, when choosing them? Well, the young man has to be a club participant, has to come to club on a regular, consistent basis, and he has to demonstrate leadership skills and, uh, and high character and good academic skills. And so these young men, uh, a lot of them do that. Uh, so it's a tough choice at, at some times, but, but we have to pick four, and we're going to have one today, one winner today. So that's a tough process. You mentioned positive male adult role models, and you're honoring one of those in the community today. Tell us a little bit about him and how he ties into this. Well, Larry Wigan is, is, I mean, is a huge name in our community. He's built uh, so many structures in our community. Actually, the structure that we're, that we're standing in now, that he, he built this structure. But more importantly than that, he has helped build people. And so we're honoring him because of his, his, his generosity to the not-for-profit community and, out and, and reaching out and assisting and helping our community to grow the least of these. Now, obviously a big part of today is uh, you know uplifting those young men and involved in this and showing a good example but also it's a little bit of a, a fundraiser as well right what do you hope to accomplish with that? No question about it I mean the, the, the you know this is a fundraiser quite frankly our organization have grown over the last seven years and we're serving more kids than we've ever have and we plan on serving twice as many uh, next year so we need support we need support to, to support the growth that we're experiencing because we want to deepen our impact and we want to serve more kids.